in this video I'll show you how to get results uh, um, from the talk simulation uh, from your unman car so you can plot them in Excel. So for example we've, we've just built this controller in the other video and um, supposing we want to get a plot of uh, showing the set point, the uh, accelerator pedal and the uh, measured value on the same graph so it looks like uh, this type of thing we've got time on the horizontal axis we want the set point which will be 3000 rpm we want to see how the measured value responds to that and we want to see what the accelerator pedal is doing so we're using, I'm assuming you're at this point here, you've installed all the software and you've built a small controller as described in the other video. Um, this is the controller we've implemented and this is the type of graph we want to get out. Set point in blue and the measured value is here for the different, different, different values of Kp. So we begin from our code. This is the code for the controller. Just check to see you've got that line there using system IO that allows you to write to a file. This is the f line that's opening the file and that's the name we're giving it. MyResults.csv. CSV stands for comma separated variables or comma separated values. It's a, an, this can be open, opened up in Excel. Um, I could put in a path name such as C colon or if you've got a, um, a flash drive sort of memory stick or whatever put in, the, uh, put in the, the drive letter for the memory stick and then you'll know where it is. If you don't put anything in, which I'm not going to it'll save it into the folder where, where all your software is. Um, and each time you run it, it'll overwrite it. Further down the file, um, I've got something here which um, writes to the file and it, that, that, this bit here writes to the file with all these parameters and that, that thing there flushes the information to the file every time around the loop. So in here um, we're plotting the time, the set point, the accelerator and the RPM. In the brackets here, if you don't put anything, um, it'll just use default formatting. If you put in a quotation and then a couple of decimal points, it will plot it to two decimal points worth of accuracy. The comma is needed to is in, needed in between each variable so that you so that Excel knows they're different. All these could have gone on the same line, but I've spread I've spread them out onto different lines. The other thing we need is a heading. So down here, I put this heading in here. These are your initial conditions, so this bit only happens once and it will write that heading to the top of the file. So let's see what happens when we run this. Okay, I'll run this, run this now. <coughs> Start. There's the engine turning on, shot up way past 3000 RPM but came back down. So let's just have a look at our Excel file now and see what's recorded. So, so stop this. And now we go to where we saved the Excel file which will be in our, in my case, in the, in the, um, the unmanned car folder because I didn't put it anywhere else. In the bin bin means binary, debug folder, keep going down, 
my results. So let's just open that with Excel. I haven't got Excel, but I'm using an equivalent package. Let that load up. Looks fine. And here we have the four columns of data, T, set point, acceleration, and RPM. Plot them out. Um, where are we? Insert chart. And uh, we want to XY scatter graph, line graph, straight lines. You don't need to plot the point, plot the markers. Finish that. <coughs> and there we have the results. So um, that showing the set point, the uh, the RPM which overshot, um, and the uh, accelerator. The accelerator is on the range from zero to one, so you can't see it on that scale. So I'm just going to move that to a different axis. Format data series and secondary axis. Okay, and we can see it over here. So the accelerator is on the right hand side. Okay, you should be able to use this method now to get any results you want.